Down. Oh, excuse you. Okay. And that was a big ass lizard over there. Oh, it still is. Okay. That's going in the bushes. Well, he's. He stopped with the lizards and the bunnies, actually. Down. Okay. And the reason why I do the video this way is because his normal response is to listen to you when you're by yourself. But once you're with somebody else, he was constantly trying to pinpoint you with other person and pretend he didn't hear you because he's with other person. That's why we do this this way. Down. So in that way, we fixed this situation that another person doesn't have as much ruling um, as you do. And that's what's the problem. And it's kind of a preparation also for, um, for your therapy work. Okay. Because yes, he can pay attention to others, but he still have to listen to you. So that is the most important part of it. So if you saw the other videos, we did it the other way, but in his case, it's like every new person was like, uh, earplugs for you so that's why now all this you see all that that he's doing to her like get in front of her and whatever it is you are not allowed to do him to do uh, to do from <laughs> to do that to you <laughs> from him that's what you you not allow him all that is a gentle pushiness however it's the attempt to stop you to pay attention to him more all of that is behaviors uh, you don't want at all Down. Okay. down. And here he will do this with no problem. It's just when she is involved, that's where he normally gets the down. He normally gets the earplugs. Not anymore. Okay. Hey, boy. These mosquitoes are relentless. Down. Really? You're going to eat me just like that?
and this is see that's that the problem so we'll talk about this and we'll see how bad he is with you because i'm not sure so if he's bad about this you will work on that because i worked on it and he's not doing it to me anymore but he's still doing it to other people which is a very obnoxious thing down now he is a big boy so as long as he is moving the second you told him to go dlw in okay you gotta let him position himself and lay down properly okay um because some people force that too much and it's hard on their joints and hard on them he's still overweight even though he lost um good amount of pounds working here but he's still a little over so it is a harder for him to lie down and i want to make sure that there is a compliance it's a full compliance but i also want to make sure that he's comfortably doing that and not necessarily hurting himself doing that every time so having said that you don't just stand there and wait for it you got to make sure there's a full compliance and he's going down meaning that down i said it i'm sorry down yes he was confused because i said d-o-w-n he was trying to go and be good boy and then it didn't happen and you were a good boy and we confused you and now we have to follow through because we don't want you to be confused okay talking too much that's why it's like with children you gotta spell it out <laughs> you can't just say the word you gotta spell it out if you don't want him to do it all right we're gonna finish this because i didn't notice it was already past seven minutes down see how he is he is going he's not resisting he is going he's complying so that is a proper way to do it sweetheart you are look at that <gasps> look at that face <gasps> look at that face yay he's like just give the treats lady don't be all that you can't pick it up from the ground you know that okay and there's nothing there i picked it all up he's like wrong Good boy, and we're done. Yeah. Now, last but not least, it's a walking down. And it's more about the downs than about the walk. So let's go. Heel. Good boy, very good. Heel. Remember to release him, we'll give him another command. Good boy, very good. Heel. Good boy, very good boy. That's a lot of work, so I'm going to give him a treat. Now I'm all slobbery. So this is a lot of work for him, especially, you know, since he's going up and down the whole time. Heel. Good boy. Very good. Heel. No, good. And that was kind of questionable because he was starting to look at me. A lot of times he demands you to pet. And I think you have done it so many times that every time he sat next to you, you were petting him. I mean, I saw that pattern right away and it was very hard to break because the dog only wants to be petted and he's pushing you. Um, he is a very... Nope, down. Okay. Heel. Don't like that position. Down. Good. So just because I start to talk, he gets more comfortable. He's still working. So yes, 
if uh, I would be just talking for no reason, I would not make him move um, and change it because obviously there was something that he was more comfortable in that area than this area. At this point, he's working. He cannot just get up and go where he wants to go. That's why I have changed the position. And you need to be picky and you need to be, um, you need to have a rhyme and reason on everything that you're doing. Heel. Heel. He's getting tired. Don't care. No. Now I'm seeing he's getting tired, right? And when you see him getting tired, you still, he cannot tell you when to stop. So yes, I see he's tired. I got his message. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make him do it one more time. And then I'm gonna stop the exercise. Why is because it's the same in the fitness. You're not gonna get anywhere. If the second you feel you're tired, you're gonna stop. So you gotta go one more step before you're stopping. Same thing, always remember training is the same training as a fitness training. The only results come from pushing extra time once you're already feeling that you're tired. Heel. And one more time. Down. Even if you have to down, I don't care. Great. No? Great. You didn't see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's open. Good boy. I know. You didn't see it. Because that's not a crate you've ever been in. That's right. So we're going to take all the equipment off. And we close it up. All together. And I'll leave them in there. Okay. So, as far as crates go, um, people so neglect to, stop, I mean, um, keep sometimes dog in a crate, especially at this age and when he's so good in the house. The reason why you should always keep a crate, because if ever anything happens to him, he's going to go right in it in the vet's office and anywhere else and if there is ever a situation when he needs to be safely safely transported or any other thing the dog needs to be fine in the crate and even if your dog was fine in the crate as a puppy and then you decide never use it you still need to sometimes every chance you get you know put him in a crate and make sure he's still okay in it okay so obviously this has um, this, this crate, we only put temporarily dogs when, you know, somebody's passing by or whatever that is that, uh, we need to do something. So those are crates are not in use and he's actually never been in one. And that's the point of the video that I'm making at the moment is because you want the crate that he's never been in just be tested because that's what's going to happen when he's going to be sick. Um, in the beginning, he didn't want to be, um, in it. So we did do a crate training in a house again. It's not that he refused to go, he would, but he didn't have a proper crate manners and he was just really not happy in there, which is now you see that he's taken it very well because he knows he's not gonna be there for long. And it's all very, very reinforcing to him anyway. So the proper crate manners should be maintained for the rest of the dog life because full freedom, cause them stress when they get sick and you that's the last thing you want is any kind of stress and as far as transportation uh we transport them two ways we transport them in the crate and um in the seat belt and this just depends if we are stopping somewhere uh live in the car running for you know two three minutes or whatever and then we come back to them um that's he's much safer in the crate when he's transports that way and um, obviously you don't have to transport them that way, but, um, it's just the safest kind of way for us, but we use a seat belt and he's very much got used to using a harness and a seat belt, um, for your normal everyday day-to-day -day transportation. Okay. It's just like, if you go in someplace like, 
um, other state or to taking them for whatever that is. And, uh, you know, it's not safe for them to be in the hotel loose or whatever because people can come in and out and you can, you know, let the dog, whatever, um, lose the dog or whatever. So you want to make sure you keep that behavior. So he's completely comfortable, obviously. So now you're just going to have to see how he he's how good he's got as far as all that so he's really really decent dog so just because the crate door is open does not mean that he can come out now i'm just gonna kind of put you down a little bit because i gotta put the collar on and I so i have to restart the video because when i put you down i also turned you off <laughs> so i am going to restart all that and we are going to put the collar on the puppy we don't redo those videos, so whatever goes wrong, it just goes wrong, and we're gonna keep rolling with it. Mm -hmm. So I put the collar on, and again, not the leash, not the collar, none of that is meaning that he can get out. But, okay, yay, good boy! That means that you can get out. That means that you can get out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious, you are such a good boy. Very good, okay, good boy. Whatever it is, um, whatever it is that I need to do, he's on the down stay. Um, either he's on the leash or not, if he's on the heavy. Uh, traffic area whatever that is or at the house where he's just just like that he's staying and waiting for me and I can and should be able to open any door even the one that leads into her car, in his car and we're going to um, get let him get in the car by releasing him okay in. good job down good boy very good and then you're it's gonna, uh, you're gonna pull this out sorry hun you're laying on it <laughs> you're laying on it okay and then you're just gonna attach him to a seat belt so he's not going anywhere not doing anything and he can get up he can look at both windows he doesn't have to stay down all the way but he really can't go anywhere he can't go in the back he can't go up front he can't disturb you he can't fly out or in or on you or whatever that is and um all that stuff is um secure even for his weight so these uh sit belts for the dog and you can adjust the height but this height is was perfect because the dog needs to be able to stand up and turn around and change the position but shouldn't be able to reach um, your front seat or going in the back um, then longer it is then less safety he gets. So it needs to be a bare minimum of the dog standing up, basically straight, not leaning toward any sides, but just standing up um, straight. Okay, so same thing when you're, um, you know, coming over um, and letting them out. It's the same thing. Just because I had hooked him and I opened the car or whatever it is I'm doing does not mean he can come out. Um, it only means that that he can come out when we release him again. <gasps> okay, go. Good boy. He doesn't want to come out from an air conditioner car. Nobody blames him. And down. And that should be the same thing. Again, he's on the down stay while you're doing whatever it is you need to do. And um, I just want to show you that seat belt that we particularly use. You don't have to use that particular one, but that is the one that we use and it's the cargo cargo whatever cargo cargo i don't know but anyway and this is kind of fits for him but um they have you can make it longer or shorter and there's many many on the markets like that but we like that um if he ever steps on it he didn't do it with us but if he does same company has um a cover it's a yellow color um that goes on this and prevents this from moving so it's just a clip on to that if your dog is ever steps on it so there is a ways to do all of it okay he still be on the downstay right here 
and yes he wants to in the car because there's air conditioner there and there's nothing here but we are going now so he's gonna get in next exercise is fast and slow Heel. It's so very slow, it's very hard for them. When it's slow, I'm okay with him sometimes sitting, sometimes down. I'm okay with either way because I'm doing that something that he doesn't really understand, but he's just ready for me. And then I just completely stop and let's see. We figured out we're not going anymore. No. And I'm done. Down. But he was kind of like, are we going? Are we not? Are we going? Because when it's too slow, it's just confusing for them. But it's all good. Heel and down. Good job. Good job. Oh, Lara, please! Good boy. Good place. Good boy. Oh, yes. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Okay. So, um, you can practice this by yourself. You can practice it with somebody there, there, especially like your friend or whatever it is. Uh, but what the important part is, is to make sure that you're actually practicing it. Right now, I am like outside of the door. That's kind of how I'm just seeing them. And I'm pretending to talk to somebody and whatever. Um, a lot of times I just leave them right here and I'm going to my car, I'm going over there. Obviously, if you don't have a second perimeter, um, you're not gonna be as comfortable doing that, but you can go a little bit away and uh, just to make sure that, um, especially if you can hold for somebody to like say hi to you, pass you by, do whatever, because in this case, um, it's really, really good to practice this, especially if somebody else is talking and the way your community is, there's always somebody somewhere talking. So it's gonna be a very good for him to practice this. Um, the reason why we do this particular exercise is because we really need um, him not to disturb you when you have, you know, delivery or you just wanna, you know, come out and talk to somebody without them coming in, whatever that case might be. 
um, he needs to be on the place. He's not going to be happy about this in the beginning um, because he's used to greeting people. So we have to change that um, in your place. It was easy to change it in my place because he that's not his home. But we're going to have to work on that, um, you know, with them. And there is nothing with him. He's just one big pushy um, baby and he um, really you know only does what he wants he used to now it's changing so a lot of times he's not happy about the rules changing and again as an adult dog um, I need you to understand it but I cannot allow you know you cannot allow him to get his way because he's gonna be back to whatever he was before you wanted to change it so we're gonna have to change it um, and a lot of times he's staring at me, a lot of times he's literally uh, throwing his back on me because it's much easier for him. Um, however it is he, cho he chooses, I really don't care about uh, all of that. Um, however he wants to be, as long as he's on a uh, place, he can actually stand up, turn around, he can sit, he can lie down, he can be upside down, I don't care. Um, as long as he is not leaving that particular place. And right now, again, he wants to leave that place because it's fluffy and um it's not really his favorite he he likes his comfort so sometimes he does especially when we put the ac for 70 but during the day we keep um, ac at 75 and he's quite um you know much happier on the tile than he is on the on that but that's all good okay i'm gonna come in <gasps> the, yeah and when you're coming in, you know, you can talk to him, you can do whatever, but you cannot let him go right away. And that is a very, very important thing. You cannot let him go. And that's why he's so calm, cool, and collected because me closing the door and leaving does not mean that he's leaving. If he will think like that, then every time you close the door, he is ready to go. He's going to anticipate and he's going to do it. So keep him. Keep them for a little bit. Um, I'd recommend, you know, the recommendation usually three to five minutes on that. Um, and just keep them away from realizing that you're done once the door is closed on your part. And I even sometimes just sit there and, <laughs> yeah, good baby, good baby. Oh, yay, what is this? Here we go. <laughs> good boy. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do this. Whatever. Right? <laughs> and you do want him like that. Okay. Come on, good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Good baby. Heel. Cannot slow down. And there's a bunch of people in kids. Heel. Good job. Looks good. And no. Good. And we're gonna walk you right next to the bones. Good. Very good.
you. Yes, I know you don't want to. <laughs> it's all right. Good boy. All right. And here's the... I'm going to stop because we're going to look to the left, to the right, and then we're going to go. Very good. Did a lot of that. Excellent boy. I gotta open it. I'll have enough hands. Nope, no enough hands. So now we're gonna do the step aside. And that's again, I'm kind of choosing the direction from the tree to back to the corner of the house. Um, pretty much the same direction, but I am going to step aside and he has to follow me. So I'm going to just step as far as I can on the right and then come back as far as I can on the left. It's basically like a zigzag with some turns around and with some, um, you know, zigzagging, meaning going either left or right, but it's not in the corner in the other different directions, okay? So that's what one of your exercises is. You're gonna see it right at the moment. Heel, good. And I'm stepping aside, he has to follow. I'm stepping aside, he has to follow. And step in the side. So you see where I'm end up? Completely not there. Good. And then I'm going to turn around. And same thing. Step aside. And then come back his way. Step aside. He has to go with me. Awesome. There you go. Awesome boy. What a good boy. And then I turn around. And he's turning around with me. And I step aside. He's a good boy. Good boy. I'm turning around. Good job. And he can make it really pretty and really good. Oh, speed up and get to me as fast as he can. He's a good boy. Turn around. Sight. Good. Very good. And the side. Excellent. And we get in the shade. I step. Perfect Amando. Perfect Amando. Who's a good boy? And stop. Okay. And stop. Come. Okay. Um, then you're going to be. What? And Valoria. Go, go. Larry, come. No, come. Okay. Larry. No, come. All away. Amanda, back to you. No, come. No, come. Excellent. And all the way, Amanda. 
and try to uh, avoid from other people saying come to your dog just they can call them any other way just don't use the c-o-w-m-e however that's all good Follow. The way how he's calling them, that would be the perfect way to call them. Come! Yay! Okay! Now, all the videos of um, like the muzzle, taking them away from us uh, who work with him, and also the nail clipping, um, we always ask somebody else to do it because that's not the point that, you know, we can do it. That's always uh, somebody else needs to do it. Like Amanda loves on him, takes care of him, but she really is not. Um, just pick up the leash and, okay. Good job. Good boy. So she's gonna take him just to show that somebody can take him away with the muzzle and all that, like in the vet's office or whatever, and come back to us, all right? So he's gonna basically listen, uh, talk to him, please. Good boy, good boy. There good you go, boy. just normally, like the people will. So we always do that, and down. Good job, all righty and drop that leash and let's start with the nails um you have not clippers over there so however you want to start with this is fine okay you go baby now he hates it and as you know and whatever that is so start there we go however we did work with him a lot so it's actually got so much better and this is a very very good what she's doing right now and putting some pressures on the foot and all that stuff okay and you're gonna cut one nail uh, normally we cut because he's uh, he's doing this and so upset normally we cut one or two nails let's do a two nail and one um this very good and you can reinforce him for it and always hold that foot for at least one or two um one or two um what did i say one or two like five seconds or so at least count to five or whatever and she wants to reinforce him that he's all good there's nothing bad about him there's nothing wrong with it he doesn't he i mean he's not a big fan but he came a long way okay and go another foot the reason why we don't do all 10 in the same because he needs uh, practice and he needs to survive all that and actually be happy about it so i don't know if he ever going to be happy about it you're doing it but he is um really got far along with it really did no and no there you go and what it is, uh, sometimes it's he's not comfortable and he's trying to get this away. And we are not gonna allow that. Good job. Okay. Uh, put more pressure, before you do this, put more pressure on the each finger. Very good. You always wanna do this in the muzzle just in case um, that you screw up or something, it's a whatever error or whatever. And all right. Um, give him one treat don't drop the foot give him a treat and then what I would like you to do is do like three more nails good job and after each nail you're gonna give him a treat but you're not going to get that foot down okay now the, the decision that I'm making as far as how many things um, you know normally when you start you just cut one on each foot and that's it are you cutting it or you're not cutting it? I don't know what. Ah, okay, got it. So, good job. Good boy, good boy. Very nice. Um, the decision I'm making is because he kind of gave her problems in the beginning, um, but then he just calmed down and, and he seems really, really good right here and happy and, I mean, he's fine. And that's why I'm going to go for all the three nails here. 
Very good. Excellent. I mean, he's literally allowing this and everything is good, so you can do that. And the more you positively, yeah, there you go. It's a, that's a trick to do this, but there is a hole in the muzzle specifically for it. All right, and get your treats with you and your nail clipper and uh, pet him down a little bit and then go to the back feet. Um, treats, don't forget the treats, please. Thank you. Just take them with you. No, we're not giving it to him. You didn't do anything yet. Just take him with you. There you go. So you're gonna give him a treat when you actually do something. So you got all those things. So pet him down, see if he actually relaxes. For the most part, he just lies down once you start petting on him. All right, good boy. All right, good boy. and let's go the, the, with the uh, back feet. Okay, so there was the back feet. All I'm gonna do, uh, all you're gonna do is a one foot. Uh, they're much better because again, um, he's walking on the thing so they're much much better there however I'm gonna just zoom in on that and we're just gonna do one and you always do the worst one and that's it and shove the treats in no 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 treat no treat no treat grab that foot back again so no good talk to the dog but you don't i mean this is what happens when people do this thing i mean they're not really they're not really doing the right thing and that's why if ever your dog been caught with the nails that's why they are reacting that way all right good good job all right did you cut that nail or you did not yes i did okay then all you're doing is you're holding that paw back and then you're gonna give him a treat because he did let you so and we're going to the, another one okay, we'll go. but see they're like the uh, most people don't give them the right directions and that's what you're gonna learn so and go for the other foot good job and before you go for this let's do some pressure and all that good job and they also, if you saw the reaction of Amanda, that's pretty much a normal human reaction, okay? And that's what normally happens. Everybody's back off, everybody is that, and the dog learns that he can back everybody away. So she tried to reach for that, but he wouldn't comply. But there is like no communication, no no, no nothing came out. So, and that's normal. That's why we ask Amanda to help us out, because I want her to behave like a normal human being, not like a professional. Because that whole behaving stuff is important for the dog. Very good. All right, and let's do a one nail, okay. and then we're gonna have the treat. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good, job. good boy. Good boy. Very good. Good. Okay, let's now. Um, you can put this down. Very good. Let's now look at the ears and eyes. Alrighty. And um, we're gonna take the muzzle off. And now we're gonna be done with it. And a little more, there you go. She's she's exaggerating ears for a reason because you wanna be able to look into it and actually find, you know, what you're looking for. And sometimes you need to like little grab him and little look at him. There you go, awesome. Very good, very, very good. And there's another one, very good. And she only stops when she actually can see something, you know, like, can see it and that's when she stops okay and the muzzle comes off okay and you can give him a treat for cooperation another survival story <laughs> and she's looking at the teeth no, I didn't like the other side too, so good job. Very good. Now I liked it more. All right, we all survived. Everything is good to go. Woohoo! Yay, boy! Who survived? Who survived the day? Who did it? Okay. Down. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try, try.
So everything he likes and um, the most from all of this, he loves the uniform and everything that's squeaky. Um, anyway, ropes we're not so much into. My goodness, I, I'm not good at this. And this one, we're gonna start with something that he absolutely hated, um, used to hate. Now he's not, but that whole impulse control point is that he still needs to maintain in the position that you put him with whatever it is, either exciting or he doesn't like it. So whatever that is, that's the point, that he has to maintain a position that was earlier. Good job. <laughs> and that wasn't the favorite, but we're still working because he still grabs it sometimes here and there. And he didn't like it when you touch it with it. He got up and did all kinds of stuff and there's something on his head. So I'm just gonna take that off of it. Good job. He's a good baby. And nope, down. Good. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, you don't like it, but you gotta have to endure it. It doesn't hurt you or do anything. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. And again, I wanted to uh, mention, we just used the double so we can have the e-collars on both sides. There is nothing that he needs. He actually works on the super low numbers. You're gonna get the make, micro thing with, um, you know, like you barely gonna feel what you're using. However, um, he is going to you know, he, we, when we train it, I'm sorry, I'm not thinking because I had a bug on me. Okay. So I wasn't thinking, I'm sorry. <laughs> and okay. So we're using that double and that big one, because first of all, nothing fits him on the big neck, except the big collars. And the second thing we got you one, but I'm just saying our training ones are not. And the second thing you don't want to um, train on the one color you always want to do a chameleon and chameleon did not goes over his big neck so we had to use like a double color so I'll explain to you later why but he needs to be stimulated from both sides so he does not learn how to turn that color off by himself I will talk to you all about this but just don't think that he needs all that whatever it is he is um, he has a lot of faults he is a very, very, um, he has a very bad work ethics, which is you're going to have to work on. And he's extremely pushy. So in that respect, um, and he's a pushy in a nice way, but he's absolutely bad about it. So you'll have to work on yourself to stop him from that pushing. Um, and he is a demander and screamer when he wants something, literally. So there's a lot to work on, but as far as the power or something else, he doesn't need much. But his, his attitude toward being upset and I don't want to work and you're not making me do it because I'm making you do that. Instead, that's the attitude that we need to work on. But don't think about it. Um, it's just because you're watching the video first before I come over and talk to you. So I didn't want you to think all of that. <laughs> the unicorn. <laughs> that unicorn was his favorite. Oh, yes. And you can't have it as you want, but you can't have it. And uh, those are all the things that you got to kind of sort of work on. And the squeakers. Nope. Good. And another squeaker. Good boy, good boy. And because I was talking so much, I'm gonna reinforce him just because it's been already four minutes of me just talking and doing really nothing much. We're gonna come back to Unicorn because that's the, your favorite. Um, so we'll talk about all of that. I'm just, because again, because you're watching the video first before I get to your house. So don't think, he's a good boy, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. And his biggest idea is not to follow it, not to break the stay, not to break any of this. 
okay all that and this is with every toy he likes and everything he doesn't like if he doesn't like he's okay with vacuums he's okay with um pretty much everything that i've seen in the house but if there's something he's not okay uh with that's what you're doing with um the first time i i did the garbage uh, bag really fast just kind of you know hit the garbage can i mean the you know bag to open he didn't like that so we worked on that a lot too um because there's nothing in the world that he should be worried about especially when he's around you because you are going to protect him from all that and make sure that he is all safe and he needs to know that okay <laughs> In here. And I'm gonna put you on the ground for a second. First, anytime you introduce a new place, place, you do it from very short, no, place, very short distance. place consisted of two things going to place and place and staying on it so this part is going to it One of the most important things, because it teaches your dog to go away from you. Good boy. Place! And as you can see, he loves it. Get you a little closer. Look. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Who is the good boy? You're the best. Aren't you the best? You're the best boy ever. You're the best boy ever. Please. No. And that's that's how far it is that's why he stopped at the beginning it's like are you follow me oh you're not following me i'm not following you okay and 
what you see there are two colors on him um come on boy come on he's a good boy is um in order for us to use you know not one-sided in the beginning we use what's called a chameleon it has uh, more points than the regular e-collar <gasps> he literally can do this all day and he loves it Second part is I didn't release him. So that means he got to stay there for as long as I want him to stay there. So having said, I'm going to go hide behind this, but I'm going to keep him so you can see him. Let me just make him a little blurry, but bigger. <laughs> So I'm standing high myself, but my hand is out so you can see him. Um, as far as staying on the place, he has done up to 45 minutes without distractions. That our goal, this is our goal after the board and train. And uh, obviously you don't start with that. You start 10, 15 minutes at a time and you, you know, making um, your rounds longer and longer. With distractions, he's done about 10, 15 minutes on the high distractions and then I let him go a um, little bit relax and then I put him right back in so that is kind of how that is so the only difference is why he didn't come with me is because I didn't tell him to um, I did not release him from the position as you can see so all of that is extremely important um, to follow if you're releasing the dog or not I also don't do stay particularly whatsoever because stay doesn't it's kind of the, the lazy kind of command because what that is is you really really want your dog to um, follow through let's say if it's if you say down and he's going to be down until you said something otherwise and until you either release him or give him a different command um, same with pretty much everything if you put him on a place he's there until you are releasing him from it so he is going to absolutely going to be there now as far as calling him from that please at least two three months try not to call him from there because you want this to be a stable command you want him to trust you that you're going to come back to him and he doesn't have to go look for you that's going to be a much more easier on him because he's going to understand that um, that he is, you know, he's going to, if he's just going to stay there, you're going to come back to him. A lot of times people start calling them in order, you know, and the dog starts understanding that late next thing that happens is I have to go find you. So they're more nervous and they're unstable in their stay place. Hoping that makes sense. If it doesn't, I will certainly um, talk to you about that more during the class. And even in the group classes, we are not picking that up for two, three months. You don't call them from there. Now, I already did just to make sure that it's all properly done, but you not. Okay. Awesome boy. He's a good boy. He's a good, 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 good boy. You're the best boy ever. You're the best boy ever. Good boy. Very good. Happy. <laughs> 
and I am practicing with everything, opening the car doors, doing whatever, and he still can't come out. Normally when I'm not videotaping, obviously I'm not even looking at him. So I'm walking around, I mean, in the beginning you have to walk, look at him, but um, at this point, no, I'm not even looking around anymore. And I always practice that. So in the beginning, you're gonna obviously do this with a long leash and everything, but, um, and people really wanna say, stay, whatever and micromanage but the thing about this behavior is he really 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 needs to um, make sure that um, and we're starting to cut the grass so make sure that we are not um, micromanage any of that so because if the door just opens or you're not paying attention to the dog, he's gonna try to run out. That's basically what the problem is with this. But you want him to make that decision. Now, when you're gonna come in, which is I'm just holding it because I'm trying to see if the grass cutting or uh, people that doing all that um, are going to disturb him and as of right now it doesn't look like it I mean he did react but before but not really much so I'm just trying to hold it up normally I wouldn't be holding it that long but I just want to see that he's not breaking it while people are working and there's different noises so and uh, I'm waiting for them to start but they're just um, whatever it is that they're doing. Let's see. And there you go. I just wanted for that noise to start. That's basically what we're doing. Now, when I'm going to come back, which is I'm gonna okay. like that. Okay. So, me coming back is basically the same thing. I am not micromanaging any of that. So I'm not, I'm just coming up here and I'm closing the door. I'm not talking to him. I'm not telling them anything. I'm not really doing any of this, okay? So I'm just closing the door and I am walking away um, with it. So yes, you wanna go and see them, but you can't because they're working over there. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I love you. You've been a good boy. Okay. No. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Good boy. Nice and polite boy. Used to be very not nice and polite. To be pushy. No. Okay. Good boy. Okay. No. He's like, I can't believe my eyes and my ears. Okay. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. No.
registered in the brain of yours? Did it register? Good boy. You're the best. You're the best. Yes, you are. You're the best. You're the best pup. You are. And down. And let's look at some kitties. Some of them are sleeping, but this one is looking. <laughs> Yeah, you see him, can you? And you can smell him, I'm sure. It's a very good boy. Obviously, it's not pouncing around of you, but we had rabbits to deal with, don't we? Same fun. And you're doing fantastic with those. So, not worried about you. You can handle anything. Can you? You're a good boy. into him, huh? Kitty. He's a good baby. Good baby. Heel. Excellent boy. One second. Let me just put that. Here we go. Nope. Heel. Good. Step aside. Good boy. Good heel. Very nice. Oopsie. Good baby. No. Good. No. Good. I mean, the nose is a nose, so sometimes you can't happen to look, but you'll go right through it. Excellent. Good boy. And near to the register was people down. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Oh boy. And let them deal with stuff. Good job. Good. Heal. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Very good. And down. Good. Very good. Good. Good down. Now, um, before you like ready to come in or whatever, this is a good exercise to do. It's just to basically stay here um, at the entrance of this because there's a lot of a lot of people and dogs and everybody pass by so um, usually when we chase them down we can't find any however <laughs> you've been a good boy however this is all good and letting him 
looking out here and watch people go and dogs go, it will be a good. In the beginning, I'm not giving you every treat to every time you look at me. This is not happening. And it's not going to happen with your mommy either. I'm going to talk about all of that with her. You believe it? I know. Very good. Very good. And I'm gonna come up to you. Now, that doesn't mean that we can go. I'm just gonna come to you here because you're all anticipating treats here, but we're not, no. Good. The more he anticipates, the longer I stay here. Very good. Very good. It's been absolutely, yes, you wonderful. Heel. Good job. So when it's that hot, obviously I'm not gonna make him lie down by the vehicle because there's no grass, no nothing. However, he can't be just jumping in. He's going to have to let me just stand there, okay, and let me, I'm not telling him anything, he just needs to know them. Now next uh, heel exercise is circles, so you have a buff, I mean out circle and inward circle, meaning that the dog is on the outside of your circle or inside, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this tree, and obviously that equipment that's there. And I'm going to make a big wide circle for about a minute. And the dog has to either speed up if he's on the outside or slow down if he's on the inside. And also do obviously the above turn when I'm turning around. Heel. Good. Oopsie. Here we go. I am good now. Go oh boy. I'm just going around the circle, the circle, the circle, and he little speeds up. Sometimes he has to. Here we go. And there's a little sharper corner because of the equipment, agility equipment here. And I'm going to make an above turn. There you go. Awesome. And we're going to go inward circle. Excellent. Oh. And Salento. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's best. Yes, I'm cutting kind of card, huh? Okay. And again, when I stop. He needs to. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. So as far as healing, obviously, um, it's not going to be as good of the videos as when I'm videotaping somebody else. Now I'm videotaping myself. So having said that, um, you are not going to be seeing too much of the, um, you know, like the heal from the positioning and all those exercises but we're gonna go through them in the class so they all will make sense but the biggest thing that I'm gonna do is to ask you to when you work on your heels um, obviously the dog is gonna know it but you're gonna have to work with it all by yourself and the way I hold the leash is not the way you're gonna hold the leash in the beginning because you're not gonna be as confident and cocky as I am <laughs> however you're gonna get there <laughs> and uh, once you trust your equipment and your dogs and yourself uh, but the thing about this is um, we are gonna do five heel exercises okay and the first one is back and forth and what that means is i'm literally pick up this is my um, goal to go to and on the opposite side i want to go to the corner of my house okay so I'm picking up that straight line and I'm going to literally go back and forth. The reason why I do that is because this way I know where I'm going and the dog has to stay with me 
and I cannot be deviating with the dog. You know, sometimes people just heal with the dogs and I cannot be doing that because I have a goal uh, where I'm going. So here you go, back and forth. Okay, heel. Obviously there's tree, we're gonna turn around. So that teaches this turn right here. And obviously it shows you, um, actually, let me try that. There you go, very good, okay. And then I'm going to the corner of my house and I'm gonna turn around. He needs to follow me, here we go, he does. And I'm gonna be like that and I'm already like that, but with him because I know him and I watch him the whole time. So you'll see me even doing that particular thing in public uh, when you see those videos in public of him walking. But again, that's because I'm confident in myself, in the equipment and in him already. I absolutely am. So good boy, come on, good. So, and I do those videos for about a minute, just so you can see how much he's following. And I do the about turn, he's moving with me. He is not allowed to sniff. He's allowed to look at stuff, but not for too long. We will discuss all of that. He's like, where the hell are you going, lady? There's nowhere to go. Good job. Yeah, I know, there was a hole there. I felt it too. <laughs> and we are gonna stop at the same position go into the tree back again and when I stop I want him to sit or lie down I have been doing down a lot so he's doing down good boy very good and you don't have to give a treat here I only gave it to him because during the exercise I was holding a camera in one hand leash in another hand I had no hands to give him a treat so yes yes Good boy, good baby. Good boy. Good boy. Hi! Hi! Hi, 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 hi! Come on in! Good boy. This must be Lenny. Hi! Hi! Lenny, 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 Lenny. Hi. Hi, boy. Now, you can give him treats doing all that, but... That's why he's looking at me, but I rather him to concentrate on her at the moment. And uh, I would give him a treat, especially in the beginning. But now at this point, plus she is, you know, he didn't see her only like several hours, so it's not like. Normally we keep a very um, cold air conditioner, but we are, I've been working on the boundary with him, so the house is quite hot at the moment. Kids, we didn't work in the boundary before. And he will turn around for people to pet him and whatever it is. So as of right now, I did not work on that uh, but as a therapy dog you cannot allow this uh, because oh, the paws in a lot of cases so are dangerous um, especially to children or the elderly so you're not gonna allow unless you're actually telling them to put them inside um, you're not gonna allow anybody to touch him um, like that so um, that's something and we're gonna work on you know later on but that's his normal obviously position since he can't jump on anybody um that's his new thing all right and all good <laughs> you already got a massage i am not doing anything else
I'm not doing anything else. No, I'm not. And always remember to hold a little bit and wait uh, between you have, you know, people coming in and you letting him run away go. So he can be on the place. The reason why he's so stable, he can be on the place for some time. Um, and he knows it. So a lot of times I'm keeping him on the place uh, for the duration of his like excitement. Um, he's not as excited to see Amanda um, just because, you know, he sees her every single day and whatever it is. But um, he is going to be excited to see the new people or whatever, you know, much more. So this part of this is really, really, um, yes, I know you don't like this. You'd rather be on the floor. And that's another thing about him. I'm sure you know, yes, he likes his comfort, but when it's hot, he wants to be on the floor. He doesn't want to be on that uh, plushy thing that makes him hot and all that. So he much rather to go lay on the tile. I know, you can! <gasps> you can! Okay! Yeah, let's go! And this would be the corner. So it's 90 degree angles left and right. With some additional left uh, turns because that's the hard on the dog and he is used to plumb right into you so we'll see that's important heel and right into him but right into him but and he needs to let you and then i'm gonna go right this way good and this way good and then right into him. Good. Right into him. Good. He needs to leave you. And I'm right into him. Good. My left turns and my right turns. Good job. Good boy. And very good. For that, he has to speed up. For this, he has to slow down and to make sure I have the right of way. And another one. Ba 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 bam, ba 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 bam. Another one, and another one, and another one. I'm like a mad lady. That's right. <laughs> and good boy, good boy. You're the best. You want me to pet you? I know. Down. Still gonna finish with a down. Good boy. Good. I want this. No. Very good. Yo. Good. Very good. Good. Excellent boy. Good boy. Very nice. Down. Good boy. Okay, right on. Thank you so much. You too. Mm -hmm. Good. Very hungry. Very good. Good boy. Boy, yes. 
Okay, good. Good boy. Good boy. And this is how he is. I mean, again, you're not going to do this in the beginning, but very good. Come on. Yeah, I know. It's like the door is funky. Okay, heel. Good job. Yeah, it's not going to hit you if you're not going to stop there. Good boy. Very good. Okay, if he does it on his own, that's fine, but it is hot, so... No. Good. It wasn't that big that you're chewing that long. <laughs> and that needs to be practiced with every, it was everything, um, especially like the foods that he is not supposed to be eating at all, like a human food or whatever. Just leave it on that and you can give a treats for that, but you obviously cannot give him anything um, that is not belongs to him. So he needs to know and he needs to be practiced. Um, the first day that he got, he tried to steal everything off the counter. He tried to go for pretty much everything. Um, so I know that if there is something left for him, he will just bulldozer in and try to grab it and eat it. So that we changed all of that. So that's your turn now. And um, obviously I'm giving it from that pile. However, you don't have to if you're practicing with something different and um he is hanging out with you in the kitchen because he's been hanging out with me in the kitchen the whole time uh, for everything so i specifically drop stuff and make sure he is not interested and i actually not only drop stuff and watch him but i also don't pick it up for a while so he needs to make sure and i try to step out of the kitchen in the way i can see him um, I actually put in the mirrors and I'm stepping out of the kitchen um, so I can see him. He doesn't understand that I see him uh, through the mirrors. So that's kind of how we operate this. But you need to be able to pick it up all together and take it away from him. And then he will be reinforced with some of it for doing all that. Good job. He's a good job. Oh, you're good job. I know you're all drooling. You're all drooling, big boy. You're all drooling. He's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's a good boy. No, there's nothing left there. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Come on, where are we going? Down. Good. Go down. Umka. Umka hug.
Now, in the beginning, there was a problem with sharing. No. Good. So now he just doesn't like it, but he is no longer have a problem with it. Um, but that's not sharing is could cause some issues with other dogs if they're playing or whatever uh, because you see how he is looking at it now i am reinforcing him um, when he's allowing her to eat obviously everything is nice and clear here for everybody umka over now the biggest problem was with the barking dogs um so sold that that's off <coughs> nope down he still wants to investigate umka pass off <coughs> no <coughs> good very good so it still bothers him little obnoxious dogs or big obnoxious dogs um so i will um ask you to come up to probably protection class where there's a lot of barking dogs going on so you can work on that. Um, no. That, that stuff is just bothering him, as you can see. But he's now dealing with him and with this, and he's completely um, under control as far as that. Before he was absolutely not comfortable with none of that. But he was through a couple um, of the protection classes, and then I'm gonna also. Um, make sure that you go through protection classes around Unka, around and yeah she's not so up oh, around keep going another time come on keep going keep going somebody's by the gate but we don't care and hug excellent good job very good very very good and one more time for the best of luck <coughs> no come there's a person behind down that was very good there's a person right behind the fence and they're knocking on the fence so that was a good reaction good come back good everything so good reaction on me feeding her instead of him that's wonderful that was fantastic boy now you want him to make that first um initial go investigate and protect protect the territory and all that you want that but you also want to be able to control it so you don't stop it right away unless you really want to stop it right away in which case you just use a down stay now he was on the down but the person got to the fence and got knocking so that was really you know um and i wasn't actually paying attention until that happened because the person is just coming back you know coming by so he shouldn't be knocking on the fence but he was so that was the point and that was all worked out good so nice control nas coming back and these these videos we don't redo However they do in the end, that's how they do it. Good boy, good recovery. Excellent recovery. And he did it by himself. I didn't do anything. He got up. But this is obviously a trigger, which is normal trigger, but still got to be controllable. So I'm happy that you can see all of that. And Umka, go. No. Place. Umka. Good. You are a fantastic boy, right? And okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. We can go. <laughs> you're like really we done <laughs> are we done we are absolutely done but this is the nice nice thing very nice and you should be also able to come up right to her and 
he is greeting her, but he's still with me. Really cannot just go and say hi to any dog. So he's asking for permission, which is most of the time. While he's here, I'm not gonna allow him because most of the time people allow that. And obviously my job is to teach him not to, uh, this is, I didn't put him on a down or anything. So he is free to go. You want something too? Okay, you can have it, right? Uh, but obviously he's a jealous boy, so there's nothing wrong with it. And again, I want them that close, but I want them still not really paying attention to each other because people always want the dog to play or whatever. And that's not really the point of socialization. They just like we are, we should be accepting strangers with normal behavior. Very good. Very, very good, two of you. Down. <laughs> Both went down. <laughs> That's hilarious. But anyway, that makes sense. Okay. And both okay. Alrighty. Let's go, boy. Um, down. Good down. Okay. I'm going to make him bigger. And that's the distance and I'm just gonna make him a little bigger again and I'm gonna hide behind these bushes right here and I'm still gonna see him on the monitor because I'm gonna stick my hand out and show it to you and talk to you about his downstairs um, the reason why we do it so far because even though it is considered I mean, there is a yard and there is a squirrels and lizards and rabbits. Oh my God, we have so many rabbits and uh, neighbors starting and um, the equipment. Um, he's mowing, you know, currently over there in the back. And um, we, we still consider that this yard is a no distraction zone, no matter what it is that he's facing, because that's the yard he's majority of the time working outside of the you know um, stores and parking lots and parks that we take him in so consider it to be a normal thing that's why we put the distance in here and not only the distance we also put like we hide and we go away and um, obviously he can do a much longer but nobody can suffer through the longer video than five minutes that's why we do a five minutes of the down stay. The dog can do a much more than that. Um, however, what I want to point out is start, you know, with the five minutes at least, and then gradually go to, again, uh, on, the, on the place, he can do a 45 minutes. On the down stay, I would probably push to 30, 35. And the reason why is because in the place he can turn around and make himself more comfortable. On the down stay, he still has to be just like that. He can still lie down, but he can't really turn around, stand up, change position. Uh, but he can lie down comfortably, and sometimes he actually does fall asleep. So that's the funny part. Um, however, that is where we want to push those limits is on the down stay. And it's one of the most important um, commands for you and he
he loves doing it and he's all good. Now, please refer to, um, do not call him from the downstay for at least two, three months. There's a neighbor right behind him. That's what he's looking at. Um, yeah, it's in the bushes, but I know what they're doing. They're um, in the yard, so anyway. So, well, where was I? Um, oh, don't call him C or me E um, at all until about two, three months past the board and train and past your time when you are gonna get comfortable with all your equipment and everything else. Not only that, but it's also gonna give a dog to safe passage to understand that if you put him on a down stay, you will always come back to him. There's a lot of people who do C-O-M-E um, in these scenarios really too early in the beginning. And it creates a stress factor that next thing that he has to do is to go find you and that is stressful. Imagine yourself um, with somebody else in the mall and they just put you, you know, you, they just said, hey, sit here, I'll be right back. And then they call you five minutes later and say, hey, find me in the whatever store on the whatever level, whatever you know, aisle. And you're gonna be like, really? You know, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna have to go find you. So that kind of feeling that you're gonna experience uh, being in the mall with somebody else is pretty much the experience that dog has. It's just on a little higher level because you do this more often and you don't think about it. Um, so for him, this is a promise. Downstay is a promise you're gonna come back to him. Now, later on, we're gonna mess the crap out of it with the uh, um, advanced classes and group classes. We're gonna mess it up. However, by then, he will be mentally ready for it. He will already understand the safety of that position. Everything about it, he will understand. Now, the most important part of everything here is when I come back, what I don't wanna see is I don't wanna see him again excited, getting up and um, getting it all earlier before I actually tap him. So I'm gonna go, it's been five minutes. I'm gonna go and I'm going to release him. And while I'm going, I'm gonna put the real um, thing in so we can maintain the quality of the video because it's really, uh, when I'm making it bigger, it's really bad quality. So we're gonna get back to the normal and we're gonna go there. So now he cannot get up, he cannot, reach you he cannot move he cannot do anything until you release him come right to him and i'm actually not gonna be fast about it i'm gonna show you that you always need to push it just because you got back there that doesn't mean that he needs to get up he doesn't Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy.